We're at plus three attack. How much is this doing? And I get a beast boost in my buzzwool? Not as much as I thought, but that's also because, you know. And we take nothing from that hit. And he's a life orb. He, is he just forfeits? So. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. Today, I'll be team testing Buzzwool on a Nihiligo Thunderous core. Basically, it's like Urshifu Nihiligo Thunderous. It's nut, but with Buzzwool. So it's bacon and tomato. I was, I was trying to make a BLT joke, but I, none of my jokes ever land. Okay, so Buzzwool, really cool Pokemon. But before we get into the heat, do me a favor. Check out the link in the description to the Tiltify webpage where we're going to be basically i'm participating in this charity tournament at the end of the week saturday 5 p.m cst uh where we're using a pretty much brand new format for vgc we're banning all series 6 ban list pokemon uh, as well as any legendaries so we're forced to get really creative with our teams um, and we're raising money for this organization called checkpoint which is a mental health awareness group and i think that's really important right now because you know quarantine a lot of people shutting down uh they're not taking care of themselves mentally and i think that's a very important thing at the moment uh but yeah donate to that i'd really appreciate it we've raised 96 dollars so far so if you want to help out in helping us reach our goal uh, i'd appreciate that very much but go ahead and get into the video leave a like if you enjoy the same point in time subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications uh the basic gist of the team let me go over it is buzzwell is assault vested great dynamax option because he becomes pretty specially bulky when he's dynamax as his hp doubles uh right now he has enough speed to outspeed pokemon crept to 107 which are pokemon that are meant to outspeed dragapult and your tailwind i'm just one point faster than them we're running a Grassy Seed Nihiligo with 100 Defense, 172 Special Attack, and 236 Speed with a Timid Nature, which is enough to outspeed base 100s while also allowing me to survive Kartana, uh, Kartana's Smart Strike once my Grassy Seed goes up. Uh, it's a Trick Room Pokemon. It's able to snowball away with the game, same way Buzzwell would. We have a Lumberry Thunderous with Defiant, Fly, Wild Charge, Superpower, and Protect. It's great on lead with Buzzwell in case they want to intimidate me because it'll allow me to get the Defiant Boost and then just, and then just run away with the game anyways. Uh, this is a really heat Pokemon right now. Choice Band Rillaboom is actually not that bad right now uh, because he hits a decent speed tier. Uh, he can run Adamant Max Attack, Wood Hammer, Grassy Glide, Knock Off, U-Turn. It's going to be doing a lot of damage and catch a lot of people off guard, which is really cool for the team, as well as giving my Nihiligo the Grassy Seed it needs. Rotom Heat. Uh, I just took this set off of Pigalytics because I couldn't be bothered to make my own, and I wanted to see how this one worked out. It's just Thunderbolt, Overheat, Nasty Pot, Protect, Citrus Berry, standard set. And the last Pokemon is Weakness Policy Metagross, Iron Head, Stomping Tantrum, Protect, Ice Punch. I am lacking a Water type and a Fairy type on this team, which is kind of problematic. However, it's been doing pretty decently in testing. Um, and originally this was uh, this was a Tapu Fini slot, but I found that I really needed the Steel type. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, yeah, I'm on a fresh account. Well, not fresh. I've tested a few teams on this account. It's Sabato Gigantamax. If you know what Sabato Gigante is, you are a true trooper and you have had the same upbringing I had. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, we're on low ladder right now because once again, fresh account. We see some pretty interesting stuff. Uh, probably just coaching Riolu plus Thunderous and Blaziken, etc. I, I really, I'm really not sure. Like, I'm really not sure what's going on here. Uh, Choice Band Rillaboom should knock it out with Grassy Glide, so I can just completely ignore that. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll also lead off with Rillaboom, or with Rillaboom to Hiligo, because it just seems solid in this matchup. My last Pokemon should be... I think Rotom is decent enough since it walls these Pokemon, not really Crustle. And my last mod, I might as well just bring the Buzzwole to Flex. Literally to Flex. Yep, there it is. It's going to be coaching. We'll go ahead and Grassy Glide that man. Uh, I don't want him to get up Trick Room. But he could also one-shot my Nihiligo now. Or not really if he's running Earthquake, but he's probably running Stomping Tantrum. I'll get in my Buzzwell and try to one-shot this Riolu. Yep, no coaching for you, sir. Choice Band too strong, and we wall this thing. We absolutely wall this thing is the funnest, is the funniest part about this. Um, I think I can take a move from Blaziken. Does Blaziken get flying moves now? I feel like it definitely has a flying move. But could you run it on a set if you're running Protect? So, I mean, he gets Brave Bird. That's actually really scary. Is he running Brave Bird, though? I can probably take a hit from this range. Rotom Heat's probably the better play, but I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try it. If I can eat a hit, I probably win. There's his weak armor. He's going to get twice as fast. Max Flutterby. 
Lose my Rillaboom. He's running Flare Blitz, so I actually eat that up. Max Knuckles should be doing a lot. Ah, not quite enough. This is actually a very scary situation here. Um, how much does this Flare Blitz do? 40%? I mean... I could get in Rotom here. And force him to go for the Rock move on the Rotom. And then I can beat up Blaziken with Nihiligo, I think. I think I just overheat here and max Airstream and hope that he goes for the rock move on the Rotom. Yep, I forced the rock move, which is good. We do not eat the... F wow, did I just lose? I just lose, man? Wow, okay, well, I just got tossed up by a, by a Crustle, so we'll pretend that didn't happen. We'll pretend that didn't happen, but you all saw it. You all saw me get tossed up by a Crustle team. I probably should have just brought the Metagross there, but... Um, we see just Tailwind, Dracozolt, Kartana. This is an interesting... Low Ladder is always crazy, man. Um, I feel like at this point in the ladder, a lot of people will lead off with Incineroar, even though it's not a good idea, versus the Thunderous team. So we'll go with Thunderous on lead with, in, with the uh, Incineroar likely coming out. Uh, I need something for that Dracozolt, and I don't think Buzzwall is it. I think Buzzwall is good late game. But right now, I could probably just lead off Metagross. Buzzwell in the back. And my last Pokemon, it's between Rillaboom and Nihiligo. Uh, I think Rillaboom's fine here. GLHF. And low ladder is a very interesting place on the showdown ladder. You can be a good player and get stuck here for like days. I know I've heard a lot of horror stories about that. And it's been a while since I made a fresh account. So I'm kind of scared now that I might just be stuck here forever. Um, they should just give me my weakness policy, I think. They're probably just going to give me my weakness policy. I'll go ahead and I'll, uh, I'll send in Buzzwell here. Or, no, I'll just protect, I think. And I'll go for the max, uh, forget the most of the max Quake. Hopefully they give me my weakness policy. Nope, max lightning. Does a solid chunk. As he gets two shot by Quake, I'll go ahead and I'll bring in the Rillaboom to eat that hit, and we'll go for another one. I don't want to lose Thunderous too early. See Max Guards, Haze is away. Um, I don't really mind that. In fact, he's probably just going to Airstream now. So, I I mean, do I lose Thunderous right now? I think I keep the Rillaboom around, because Rillaboom's just so good. We'll go for another Quack. Another Quack into the Duck. He's a duck, right? He's pretty much a duck. Can you give him my weakness policy? Nah? Okay, that's fine. Still got rid of him. Uh, I'll bring in Rillaboom. Just because I don't want to lose Buzzwool yet. And I'll go ahead and go for the uh, Ice Punch on the Crobat. Likely knock it out. We can also Grassy Glide just to ensure it. Maybe not. Cause what is, he's gonna he's gonna Brave Bird, right? I'm just doubling the Crobat. He goes Kartana. Okay. Um, I can live with that. I'll get in my Buzzwell here. And I'd like to go for a Stomping Tantrum onto the Incineroar. Because I have a feeling I'm getting at my Weakness Policy this turn. It's very hard not to give Metagross Weakness Policy. Because you want to hit with a, super, with a super effective move to knock it out. Like, this guy has a decent amount of weaknesses. And, like, how do you how do you play around that? How do you not give it its Weakness Policy? Because he has Burning Jealousy, which... Kind of a poor play there. Um, I, he has a lot of speed on this guy, I guess, which is interesting. I don't think he really has a way around this now. Um, Kartana's likely within Stomping Tantrum range. Uh, I'll keep the Rillaboom healthy. I'll, I'll just let Buzzwell go down here. And that's because Rillaboom can come in and click Grassy Glide. I don't want to bring it in early now because one, Buzzwell's going down anyways. Uh, and two, Rillaboom will reset the terrain once it runs out at the end of the turn. So what I'll do here is I'll go for Thunder Punch on the Crobat. Maybe not. Maybe I just Leech Life. Ice Punch. Which does more Stomping Tantrum or Ice Punch? What am I doing? Okay. Stomping Tantrum 75, Ice Punch 75. Um, I prefer the Ice Punch. As he hazes away, my boosts. Aerial Aces, I survive that. So he's going to lose his Kartana here. Yeah, Buzzwell is absurdly bulky, so we managed to get away with that. 
Not not my proudest game. We're starting off a little rough here, which is kind of frustrating because this team was heat and testing. Oh my god. Could be because we're facing some unorthodox stuff, low ladder. Um, looks like Tailwind plus Darmanitan. I don't know what the Arachnid's doing there, to be honest, man. I mean, this team does not like the Rillaboom lead because I could one-shot his Darmanitan. <laughs> I could also just lead off Buzzwall, too. Um... Dang, I could go Buzzwall Metagross here, and he has pretty much nothing you can do about it. Because if he, if he ends up leading off with a Tailwind, like, wh what up? Like, I I'm fine. <laughs> Alright, uh, in the back here, I kind of want to bring the Nihiligo. Yeah, Nihiligo doesn't seem bad if I have Grassy Terrain. So I'll bring Nihiligo and uh, Thunderous here. There's a lot of physical attackers in this team. We got two special attackers, but... Yeah. It's, it's mainly just full physical offense that just denies Intimidates. Alright, there's Rillaboom Araquanid, which is actually just the best lead I could have asked for here. Oops. What do you what do you mean oops? Did he did he run out of time? I don't know. Forgot Grassy Surge. Oh no, I'm sorry, bro. Well, I mean, who am I not to take advantage of that? <laughs> what kind of friend would I be if I didn't take advantage of you for getting Grassy Surge, man? <clears throat> um I think Max Airstream will knock him out. I don't want to switch in anything though. I'll just go for the protect here to play it safe. I don't want to. I don't want to like have Metagross get knocked out by like Max Geyser or something. So I'll just protect. He goes for the fake out into the wrong Pokemon. I get my KO. We're at plus one, plus one. He gets in his Buzz, or he gets in the the Tornadus. He's probably just gonna go for the Hurricane. I think I just get in the Hiligo here. I, I don't want to, right? But also, I want to keep Buzzwool healthy for the endgame. I think I just get in the Hiligo here and go for the Ice Punch KO on it to deny him uh, Tailwind. Because he should Hurricane, right? Oh, no, he Tailwinded. Okay. And we take nothing from that. Interesting. Rillaboom gets absolutely walled by uh, Buzzwool in the end. And he doesn't have anything to beat Buzzwool, so... I think what I'll do here is I'll try to set up a Trick Room. Fully expecting my Nihiligo not to survive, but in case it does, I'm just in a good spot. Go for a second Ice Punch. As he taunts me, good play. Goes for the Max Darkness. I survive, get my Weakness Policy. Knock him out. And honestly, we're in a pretty good spot. Uh, I don't think he has anything to beat Buzzwell in the back, especially if it's like... Garchomp or Grimmsnarl. Buzzball is just such a good physical wall right now. Like, you have to be careful with the flying moves, but if you can play around flying moves, you're fine. Fairy moves, it could, it, it like doesn't even care. Buzzball hardly cares. Um, Do I sack Thunderous? Do I give him both of these mons? I think I do. Because he could just go for like a ground move or something. Darmanitan's Gorilla Tactics, so it has to lock itself into one move. I'll go ahead and I'll Iron Head here. Not expecting to keep my Metagross. If he locks himself into a fire move, that's slightly concerning, but I should be fine. Ooh, okay. He went for the G Max drum solo and did a ton. However, he did lock himself into a fire move. So Nihiligo can come in here and revenge kill. I have to protect, though. So I'll double protect. Just to ensure I don't get knocked out by, uh, <laughs> by like, Stomping Tantrum Rillaboom. Yep, it looks like he scarfed. There's the knockoff. We'll go ahead and we'll click fly on the Rillaboom as well as a power gem to knock out this guy. Get rid of him, and that's game. Buzzwell comes in. Click the leech life. We'll let Buzzwell have it, man. We'll let Buzzwell have this win. We're showcasing him. We'll protect. We'll go for the leech life. It's all good. Sir, you don't have any outs, please. Please click move. Sir? Sir, please click move. Sir? Okay. We'll add a game here. <laughs> okay, yeah, he just forfeited. It took him a minute. Maybe he didn't know how to do it. Maybe he was, like, wondering how, how you forfeit. Okay. Ooh, okay. More more low ladder shenanigans. I'm not, sh I'm not certain what this is. This is probably Grassy Seed uh, Sceptile. 
That's what I'm gonna guess, Grassy Seed Sceptile. But look at all of his answers to Thunderous. If you're if you're wondering what I mean by answers to Thunderous, I, I, I am also wondering what I mean. Look, where are they? Like, yes, he could, he could possibly burn me, but I'm immune to burn for one turn with this thing. Um, and wow, actually Buzzwool just goes in here. Like, I have to be careful with Celesteela, but I can just lead off Buzzwool Thunderous, I think, and I'm fine. Rotom seems pretty good as well. Um, do I go Rotom? I think I go Rotom. Just because it, it walls out quite a few things, helps me beat Celesteela, and I think my last Pokemon has been Metagross here. Okay. Now, I do have to be careful about the possible Max Airstream coming out from Inteleon. He's not going to go for a water move into Buzzwall, I think. However, I think my safest play is just to get in Metagross, and we'll Dynamax up here and just go for Max Airstream into Rillaboom. As I Dynamax first, likely meaning that he doesn't have... He's not intending to Dynamax here. He goes for Soak, interesting. Uh, that would matter if I didn't pick up a KO. It does matter. Oh no, let me go for uh, Ice Punch here. And Max Guard. That's annoying, Soak Inteleon. But it's not Scarf. As he grassy glides, I survive. Muddy Water, he misses. I get that KO. Um, I'm also no longer weak to Tyranitar, so I don't have any complaints here. I really don't have any complaints. Uh, let me bring in... Do I just go for the Lightning? I kind of want to go for a superpower too, though. I'll bring in Buzzwell here. This is a really risky play. I'll go for the Max Lightning on the Italian. If he soaks into Buzzwell, I'm in trouble. We don't pick up a KO, unfortunately. However, we will be faster next turn, so I can just max Airstream again, and he gives me my Defiant Boost. And I should be faster than Tyranitar, so I can just close combat. Bro, they messed up giving Buzzwell close combat. They messed up. Ooh, there's the Entei. I don't like that, actually. I think what I do here is I play it safe. I go Rotom. And my strongest move is now Super Power, but I'm scared I'm going to miss. I have to go for it into Entei, though. Alright, we do connect. That's going to drop. I bring in the Buzzwool, and that's game. Because I just Thunderbolt, go for the close combat, and there's no way he survives this. He has to be like absolute max speed to outspeed me too. 124, uh, 108, yeah. He's not jolly, there's no way he's jolly. And Buzzwool cleans up, nice. Let's continue here. Ooh, okay, now we're facing some standard. It took a couple of games, but now we're facing some standard. Let's see if I, my team still holds up. It looks like his only real two threatening Pokemon to Buzzwool, because for one, Buzzwool when Dynamaxed eats Max Airstreams from Kartana, that's the funny part. Um, the only two real threats to Buzzwool, I think, are this, uh, these Tapu Finis, or <laughs> the Tapu Finny and the Metagross, or the Moltres. I can't speak today. Uh, I would lead off screens if I were him. I have a feeling that Mr. Rhyme or Mr. Mime is actually gonna be good in the format with how many screens there are. Just saying. Just a little tip if you want to run something cool, maybe try out Mr. Mime. Um Wow, actually Nihiligo messes him up. It messes his face up. But I'll I'll bring that in the back, I think. Eh, we'll lead off Nihiligo, try to pick up a free KO. I'll go Nihiligo... Rillaboom? No. No. I will go Rillaboom. And Rotom. And we'll go Buzzwell and Nihiligo in the back. Okay. Do not regret my lead at all. I do not. Get in the Hiligo. Go for a nasty plot. Because I should eat a hit from the Moltres. Especially if you trust a nasty plot here. And the Hiligo one Dynamax just does not take any damage. Actually, what am I doing? I can prevent screens entirely. Grassy Glide. <laughs> nasty plot. What are you gonna do? What is Reggie like you gonna do? Is he gonna switch out? Well good, something else is gonna take a grassy glide, and it will not enjoy it, sir. It will not enjoy it, mister. We also force him into sort of a catch twenty-two, if that's the right term here. Where he has to either just yeah, he just... Oh my god, he's... What? What? 
That was Adam. How much defense do you have, sir? I want to talk to. I need to talk to my lawyer, man. <laughs> how does that live? All right. Uh, I was gonna say we force him to either attack or uh, nasty plot up. But if he nasty plots, then he can't remove Rillaboom. Okay. Um. I like where I'm at. I don't want to. I'll go into Hillago here, and I'll just go for the raw Thunderbolt on Tapu Fini. Since he should just max Airstream into Rillaboom, he can't afford to let me keep it on the field. And Rillaboom in the endgame seems especially threatening considering he's pretty much revealed he's not going Trick Room with bringing out Tapu Fini so early. He should max Airstream here. Yep. That does nada. How much am I going to do this, Fini? Skull? Uh, uh, no! <laughs> what? <laughs> My man, my my friend, what just happened? Okay, um, I don't like that you, I don't I don't like this guy anymore. <laughs> He's running Specs Finny. Oh my god. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for the Max Ooze into the Nihil, or into the the Tapu Finny as well as a Grassy Glide. He has no switch ins. He has no defensive switches he can make. In fact, maybe I actually just maybe I do this. Maybe I give him the Buzzwall. <laughs> no. I love doing that. That's like a joke with me and my roommates. And man, I just messed up. Okay, well, we know we eat the hit from the Kartana, but not well is the issue. Um, we also get one shot by Moltres here. Oh my god, okay. Specs Finny is the is the new thing. Okay, uh, let me go for the knockoff into the Kartana. Hopefully not dying. We're going to die, though. Smart strike, we eat that up. But guess what? No, we just lose. GG. Oh my god, we just got nanate on. I think if the Reggie Alecki died early on, we might have had a little bit of a better time. Because he wouldn't have as many defensive options and it would have forced him into some worse situations. Um, this is just self prop weakness policy screens. Once again, Buzzwool, or not Buzzwool, but Nihiligo seems to be going in. In fact, like, what do they have for Nihiligo on lead that's truly, truly threatening? I can go Nihiligo Thunderous, Rillaboom in the back, and probably just Rotom. And I, I think I like that. Bro, the specs finny though. That's crazy. I thought it, I thought it was cool. I thought it was cool, but that man proved to me he was cooler. Alright, there's the Landorus lead. It is over. Uh, cause he's not gonna stay in with Landorus. That's the funny part. Uh he is going to go for a trick room here. And I'm gonna deny him that trick room by just Ooh, do do I I don't wanna give him Lightning Rod on his Raichu is the issue, but I don't think he brought Raichu is the funny part. That's the funny part. I can also one-shot the Slanderous. I really want to burn my Dynamax right here to one-shot the Landorus, but I'm very scared of doing that. World Star. Fast and loose, playing it crazy. Ah, oh, he Dynamaxed. Oh, no. Sir. 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 <laughs> um. I think the play is pretty clear. I will max Airstream into this Comfe. Expecting another ally switch. Uh, and I can get in my Rillaboom here. Get a good amount of damage. He's now within Grassy Glide range. Go for my Glizzy Glide. And I can also protect just to ensure I always get this KO. Do you think he ally switches again? I don't think he ally switches again. In fact, I'm kind of tempted just to switch in Rotom here. But I also don't want to lose my, my defense boost. 
because that's really important for the Kartana matchup. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I'll switch in Rotom. Rotom is good for the Kartana matchup, anyways. So he goes for Floral Healing. He should have just Max Quaked. Epic dog. That's epic. Okay. Um. He can't survive now, even if he goes for the Floral Healing. So I'll just go ahead and Nasty Plot. He ally switches. He can go for a Rock Slide. Whatever. I should be fine. He flies. It's, pfft, what? Sir, this is a Denny's. Why? <laughs> Who runs Power Herb Fly? You have Max Airstream, sir. You have Max Airstream. Sir. Okay, well now I have to protect. Does he have protect? Max Rockfall, Max Airstream, Max Quake, Fly. I mean, he's only he hasn't revealed if he has protect or not yet. Um, I have to assume he does. And overheat. <laughs> I'm going to overheat even though I, I thought he might have protect. Uh, I would have lived the rock slide though. This Rotom has a lot of bulk. He goes for the solar beam. Survive it. There's the Kartana. Um, now normally I wouldn't be scared here. However, I'm very scared. Because Kartana is probably going to outspeed me in one shot. But I also probably wall the, the Torkoal if I play my cards right. Because I, I still have my berry, right? And these things are usually Assault Vest. I have, to, I have to Power Gem, but I could also just go for the Double Protect. I'll go for the Double Protect, because it's it's my win con to keep this guy alive. We'll Overheat. Hopefully we don't miss. He gets the KO. I think we wall the Torkoal, because we have Citrus Berry. Okay, he is he Specs Torkoal? What? Let me Nasty Plot. I think he specs Torkoal. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to protect. Yeah, um, he gets one more of those. And then I just beat him. So it's safe to attack now. Yeah, that was... That was interesting. That was... That was interesting. We'll do one more. Because I don't, I don't like what just happened. <laughs> I don't like what just happened, dude. Okay. This looks like one of the teams I faced in Players' Cup. Um, Buzz will do go kind of stupid here, if I play it right. He does go kind of stupid. Oh, I might even lead off with him. We'll go lead Buzzwall plus Thunderous to deter Tapu Finis. Um, Rotom Heat in the back, and I think my last Pokemon pretty much has to be Metagross. So we're playing this anticipating a Trick Room to go up, and hoping that I can hard wall Glacier with a Dynamax to Buzzwall, because that's the whole point of this guy. Like, Buzzwall just denies them everything. It's so funny. Turn on the timer. I, I'm still like shaking that that man was running Power Herb on Landorus. As though he gets more usage. Out. Like in that situation, yes, he got it. But I'm wondering how many situations he's actually had to click Power Herb Fly and it mattered. Okay, there's the Glacier, there's the Grim Snarl. And like I said, I just hard wall this guy. I absolutely hard wall him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take advantage of the situation of the Glacier being on the field. I'm gonna max knuckle that Grim Snarl to start building up my defenses. <laughs> you this is a controversial play, I will not lie, this is a very controversial play. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Let's see if he dynamaxes. Alright, cool. You wanna see how much he does? He does nothing, by the way. Get that boy up. He has made a grave error. An absolutely fatal mistake. Um, yeah, I'll just knuckle him again, to be honest. 
To be honest, I might just knuckle him again. Protect. Do even more that time, Buzzwell's absurd attack stat. Spirit break? Yeah, you can try, bud. Cannot break my spirit. I am too bulky. And uh, since I'm going to outspeed my, my guy anyways, like I might just actually... Yeah, I think I just one-shot this guy. Let me let me max Airstream to get some speed here and also go for an Iron Head in the Glacier. We're at plus three attack. How much is this doing? Can I get a Beast Boost in my Buzzwool? Not as much as I thought, but that's also because, you know. And we take nothing from that hit. And he's life or he, is he just forfeits. So awesome. Awesome. Buzzwool putting in work, finally. <laughs> I mean, he's been putting in kind of kind of a lot of work, but not as much as I hoped, considering we've been facing some low ladder stuff. But yeah. If you guys enjoyed this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.